Hello, this is a video for students who are just getting started with assessments. Parents and guardians are welcome to watch too. Assessments is a free tool used by your math teacher to support your learning. You will be given problems to solve and feedback as you go. So let's get started. You wanna start by logging into Google Classroom. That's where you'll find your assignment. Just click into your class and then either in the stream or in the classwork, you'll see the link to the assignment. Click on that, and then there'll be a link to assessments. Often you'll have to verify that you are in fact you, so click on the account that you used to log into Google Classroom. The very first time you go to assessments, you'll have to allow a connection with your Google Classroom account. So click allow, and then create your new account. Verify who you are and allow again. Now you're ready to do your first assignment in assessments. The problems you will get will have been selected for your class by your teacher. Your job is to read the math problem and solve it. You may need a piece of paper and a pencil to solve the problems. When you first log in, you will see the student progress card. This will provide you with a quick overview of the number of problems you have completed from what your teacher has assigned versus the number of problems you have left. This will help you track your progress on assignments if you need to return to the assignment at any point in time. As you begin the assignment, you will see all the problem and problem parts your teacher has assigned on the left. As you submit your answer, you will see different symbols. I am going to explain these symbols and what they mean. If you get a problem right on the first try, you will see a green check. To progress to the next problem, click Next Problem. If you get the problem wrong on the first try, but right on the second or third try, you will see an orange check mark. You have an unlimited amount of times that you can try on a problem. If at any point in time during the assignment you want to, you can go back and see your previous problems to help you answer the problem you are currently on. If you get the answer right on your own, you will see an orange check mark on the left. If you really struggle and can't figure it out after three to four tries, you can click the Get Help button. Here you will see various student supports available in assessments, including hints and explanations. There will also be a show answer button. The answer will be shown and you can copy that into the box and submit your answer. When you do this, you will see a red lightning bolt symbol. We encourage you not to click show answer until you have given the problem an honest attempt and you are really stuck. Some questions will be open response. You'll put your answer into the question box or insert a photo of your work. When you are satisfied with your answer, you can click submit. You will not get immediate feedback on whether your answer is correct for open responses. Your teacher will need to look at what you submitted and provide you with a score. Until your teacher scores your open responses, you will see a gray check mark. When you are all done, click Finish Assignment and you will see one of two reports. You will either see a student report showing the symbols of success or a student report showing your score on each individual problem along with the class average. It will be up to your teacher to decide which report you will see. You can click on the blue link in the first columns to view any of the problems you have completed again. When completing your assignment, you can stop and start at any point in time, and you can always return to the assignment by clicking on the assignment link in Google Classroom. If you have finished the assignment, the link will bring you back to your report. Your teacher will get a similar report with a row for each student. This helps your teacher know how you did on the assignment and how best to support you and your class on common misunderstandings. One last thing, assessments will automatically turn in your assignment, so you don't actually have to click that turn in button. Good luck.